Longtime fans of The Witcher video games are sure to recognize an early game character in the third season of The Witcher on Netflix. They'll also notice that things go very differently for the character this time around. At the beginning of The Witcher Season 3, protagonist Geralt of Rivia encounters a peculiar, refined mercenary who goes by the moniker Professor. Unfortunately for the bespectacled wannabe assassin, the meeting is as brief as it is violent, as Geralt dispatches the Professor after cutting through his men with the greatest of ease. I am Petunia. Benignessa. The Professor's foray into the world of Netflix's The Witcher is so swift that people who aren't familiar with the games might wonder why the character is so elaborately designed. The reason is simple. The antagonist's appearance as a massive easter egg for fans who have played the very first The Witcher game from CD Projekt Red in 2007. The Professor makes multiple appearances in the game, and as players can no doubt attest, he's a far bigger challenge for Geralt than his Netflix version proved to be. The ease with which Henry Cavill's Geralt dispatches an enemy who gave his video game version such trouble is a sign that by the third season, Netflix's Geralt is the legendary Witcher at the height of his powers, and could just be the most powerful Geralt we've seen so far. That's not to say that the Professor is anywhere near the strongest antagonist Geralt has to carve his way through in the games, but the Assassin is nevertheless a formidable challenge whom the Witcher faces more than once. He's a condescending, snide man who isn't afraid to rely on underhanded tactics like wrist-mounted crossbows and powerful protective spells. The Professor also shows very little fear while fighting Geralt, and isn't shy to lecture the protagonist about his views on the subject of Witchers. You were meant to slay monsters without making judgments, philosophizing or nursing doubts. You're ineffective. Apart from being a brief nod at the people familiar with the first Witcher game, the Assassin's presence in the Netflix show is also a fun meta-joke of sorts. Because the Professor is one of the two first major bad guys Geralt encounters in his very first game, with the other being Azar Javed, he can be viewed as something of a starter villain. Here, he's pitted against a considerably stronger and more experienced Geralt, and the power imbalance between the two is not unlike what would happen if a video game character returned to the first area of a game after maxing all their stats. Thanks for dropping by, Professor! There's another key reason why the Geralt from the games may have had a tougher time with the Professor, apart from the differences in his sheer skill and power. In the first Witcher game, Geralt is dealing with far more than the usual world-ending threats and man-eating monstrosities. He has also lost his memory. This Geralt is more or less a blank slate, and still a long way away from the dominant, intimidating fighter he once was or would become again by the time the third Witcher game rolled around. The live-action Geralt, on the other hand, might be struggling with his emotions, but his memory is fine. So are his fighting skills, his knowledge of signs, and all of the things that make him such a formidable opponent. This Geralt also meets the Professor in a random, muddy backyard, while the game versions of the characters contend in situations where the Professor has an upper hand. At one point, he leads an assault against the Witcher base Kaer Morin, and in others, he's protected by powerful magic. Still, let's be honest, even if the Professor had brought his full bag of tricks in the Netflix show, it's unlikely that he'd last long against this driven, resourceful, and tougher-than-ever Geralt.